This is a review of the Delta three-wheeler all-terrain buggy made by Delicon. Just so you know, this is an independent review of our own buggy. I've not been offered or given anything in return for the review. This is the Delta three-wheel all-terrain wheelchair, uh, which is made by the company Delicon. I know it's probably a uh, good form on YouTube to do reviews of nice shiny kits straight out of the box, but this is a really well used piece of equipment. Uh, we've had it for a few years. In the holidays, it's probably used every day, in the term time, at least once a week. So it is well used and I feel that's okay for this review because I think that tells you something about how useful we find this and the fact that it is still in pretty good nick. So I think it's a good quality build. Come, you can flat pack it like this without the wheels, which makes it a lot easier to store. Uh, we store ours in the house actually under the stairs and it makes it easier to get in and out of the car uh, without the wheels on, but you can store it with the wheels on equally. It's, it's heavy, but it's not ridiculously so. I can lift this in and out of the boot fairly easily. So when you come to put it together, we keep our wheels in a bag just to save dirty wheels going in the car or in the house. Um, so you've got three wheels, obviously, three wheeler. That's not rocket science. One top tip I'll give you is that I keep a pair of rubber gloves in the bag with the wheels. And the reason I do that is because in the winter, uh, the, when the wheels are muddy, you cannot avoid getting your hands on the wheels to take them off. So if you're going to take the wheels on and off every time you use it, you either get muddy hands or you have a pair of gloves in, in the car and I choose to use rubber gloves. Um, so those I always keep with the wheels. So to put it together, the buggy comes with wheel protectors. So you take them off, you press the wheel on uh, the button on the outside of the wheel, put the axle into the frame of the buggy. Make sure it's locked on. It's one wheel, turn it over, do the same with the other. Take the wheel protector off, push the button on the outside of the wheel, slot the axle into the frame, check it's locked in. The third wheel is at the front. Another top tip, before you try and put this wheel on, make sure that this clasp is open. If it's closed, you won't be able to get the wheel on. So open that up, slot it onto the forks of the front of the buggy and then lock that clip in place. That's all three wheels on and secure now. Drop that front wheel down. And then to lock the upper bit in place, there's two foam covered handlebars that you push in until they lock in place. One on that side and one on that side. So that's the body of the buggy ready to go. The only other things that you need to make it usable are you need to drop the foot plate to do this you pull two rings either side and then now this is a good demonstration because every time I've tried this when I've been filming test runs before this has worked perfectly this is one of the things that we're not so keen on in this buggy is that this foot plate can be tricky it looks like it should be a really easy thing to do you pull the two bars out and drop it down see it worked fine that time but sometimes you need to give it a bit of a wiggle don't understand why you can see the mechanisms and sometimes I can't see why it's not dropping down sometimes it doesn't it's not a deal breaker for us it's just a little annoyance that foot plate the other thing we're not so keen about is that it's a fixed height you can't move it up and down that's difficult if you've got short legs or long legs uh, because there's no way of adjusting it there's nothing you can do about it it's just one of the disadvantages of this of this model of buggy there are some Velcro straps uh, that you can use to secure feet in and there are um, backrests around the back of the ankle because the footrest is slanted, stops your feet slipping off the back of the footrest. The other thing you need to do to make this usable is the handlebar at the back, which you need to raise up. Another top tip, this is really easy to operate if you do it the right way. We've had a couple of instances where support workers haven't been able to bring this handlebar up and it took me a while to work out why what it is is if you try and be lifting or pushing down that handlebar at the same time as pushing those buttons in they won't go in you need to take the pressure off the handlebar push the buttons in then you can lift it 
I'm five foot eight, my husband's six foot, and we find this raises perfectly high for what we need it to. So I think it's probably suitable for any height of person. The brakes are all situated on the handlebar. There's nothing that you need to operate on the wheels. Uh, you can just pull the handlebars like a, bra like a bike brake um, if you're going downhill or stationary for a moment. If you want to lock those brakes in place, there are red catches. You pull the brakes, slot those red catches into place, and that's it, the brakes are on. Uh, James has a tendency to rock a little bit, and this has been pretty good at holding him stationary unless you're on a really slippy surface or on a hill, uh, and then I wouldn't trust it enough to let go. If you are concerned about the buggy running away from you, there is a wrist strap. So if you're going down a hill and you're worried you might let go and they disappear off into the distance, you can put your wrist strap on um, and then if you let go, you're still attached. The other thing, well, if we're looking at the back of the buggy, there is an anti-tip bar here. So that you, you drop that down if uh, when you're doing transfers and so transferring in and transferring out and if you're stationary for any length of time and that stops the buggy tipping completely backwards. It can be a little bit tricky this anti-tip bar because it's very low to the ground if you're going over rocky terrain or if you're going through a forest and there's lots of tree roots and things sticking up it will pull it down whilst you're walking along uh, obviously normally when you're walking you would stow that anti-tip bar away so you don't catch your feet on it uh, but if you're going over uneven ground it can knock that anti-tip bar out because it's so low and it's just a pain it doesn't stop you doing anything uh, it's not a massive problem it's just an irritation more than anything else there is a sun canopy this was a, an extra that we got so the sun canopy drops right down it's quite a good low sun canopy so you can use it in in light rain as well we don't use it terribly often because James doesn't like things above his head and he has a tendency to push it up out of the way. But if you do need to use it, there is a clear panel here so you can see what's going on inside. And that stows away using the Velcro there. I use this less as a sun canopy and more as a, a little naughty storage area. Delicon tell you not to hang anything from the handlebars. And we all know when you go out with our kids and young people, you need to take a fair bit of kit with you. There is a storage thing underneath and I'll show you that in a minute. But if I've got uh, my mobile phone or my car keys or something light, the dog lead, whatever, there's quite a deep little pouch that you can put things in there. So probably a bit naughty, but I find that quite handy. Talking of storage, there is a storage area down here. There is a drawstring on top if you want to tighten it up a little bit so that things don't fall out, but we've never lost anything yet. You can keep a surprising amount of stuff in there. You can get, well, what have we had? We've had a coat, suntan lotion, bottle of water, packet of wet wipes, James's emergency meds, which we keep in a Tupperware box, um, snacks, and that all fits in there, absolutely no problem. So a surprising amount of storage and definitely, definitely you need that in the bottom there. In terms of um, personalization, we got to choose the fabric that went on this side padding and also on the harness here. The harness is a four point harness. So you've got chest straps and you've got a waist strap here. Um, and they're nice and secure, pretty comfortable. This was an added extra and I'm pretty sure we had this made specially. Uh, it's a bit of padding, foam padding that sits in front of the normal leg fabric here and the reason we had that done is James has got quite long legs particularly from knee to hip and we felt his knees stuck out a little bit too far over the front of the buggy so for comfort more than anything else we we had this extra bit of padding made. Also recently we have added a really thick bit of foam, I reckon it's probably about four inches deep underneath the seat there. Um, since James had spinal surgery his knees weren't supposed to come too close to him so to keep that angle nice and open and raise his bottom up a little bit we've put extra foam underneath there. We've taken this on sand, snow, up hills, it goes pretty much everywhere with us. If we go on holiday, we try and take it with us. Uh, sand is fine, flat, damp sand, no problem at all. If it's drier sand, you know, the sort of thing that your wheels tend to sink into, it can be a bit tricky. And we've had occasions where we've had to pull the delta rather than push it in those situations. 
I think that Delicon do do different wheels for sand. So if that's something you're going to be doing often, if you live near the beach and you think you're going to be going on the beach regularly, that might be worth looking into and investing in. You can get an attachment for the front, which enables you to connect it to a bike. And I know that will be really attractive to a lot of people because it then becomes multi-purpose, not just a buggy, but also a bike trailer. That's not something we've ever done, so I can't really review that bit, um, but I think they've got quite a lot of information on their website. What I will do is I'm gonna show you me sitting in it. The reason I'm gonna do that is because I'm fairly tall and if any of you have got young people, teenagers, and you're worried that this is gonna to be too small for them, I think it helps to see me in it. So I'm gonna put the brakes on, otherwise I'm gonna go flying off into the distance. So that's me, five foot eight, sitting in the buggy. I've got pretty long legs. You can see my legs do stick out quite a bit over the front of the seat, but I have to tell you, it's comfortable. Uh, I could happily sit in this for quite a long walk. James always seems very comfortable in it. Uh, and I've sat in this a few times over the years that we've had this, just to keep reassuring myself that it is a comfortable chair to sit in, and it is. It's not the easiest thing to get in and out of. Um, it's not the most elegant, as you're gonna see in a minute, it's not the most elegant thing to get in and out of. Uh, getting James in and out of it is, it's not great, but I don't think it's gonna be any easier in any other three-wheeler buggy, because they all tend to be roughly the same. Um, this one particularly has quite a deep bucket seat. So getting James in and out, there is a tiny bit of lifting involved and a little bit of huffing to get him out. I don't even know if that's a real word. Um, so it's, it's just one of the compromises that we have to make to be able to use a three-wheeler buggy, really. Uh, so I think probably in summary, would I recommend the Delicon Delta? Absolutely, I would. There are things about it that we're not so keen on, but overall, I think we'd be lost without it. There aren't a huge, there isn't a huge choice of three-wheeler all-terrain buggies on the market, particularly for older children. James is coming up 16, and I think this will do him for a good couple of years yet. Uh, when the, the sizing issues, the limitations, when that sun canopy is down, James's head is just about at the top of it. So uh, James isn't gonna grow, torso isn't gonna grow anymore because he's had his spine fixed. But if he was gonna grow, potentially could grow another couple of inches before he stops growing, we might not be able to use the sun canopy anymore. And obviously as his legs get longer, he will become more crouched, his knees will become more raised. If he ever sort of indicated he was getting uncomfortable, we'd have to stop using it. But at the moment, it's a really decent bit of kit. We've never had anything break on it, never had any issues with it, apart from the things I've pointed out, which are tricky. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, a piece of kit I would recommend. Thanks for watching. All the information to go with this film is in the notes below. Just click on the little arrow or the show more just under the picture. I'd love you to leave comments. And if you'd like to see more of these films, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button.